Well, you know, it was the end of the, uh, you know, we'd done that series of space bubble shows. And it was a lot, a lot of, lot of work, very, uh, you know, stressful and a lot of um, extra work for everybody. I think with Jake, I think he probably had to fly into Oklahoma City and back home to Los Angeles probably, <laughs> probably 20 times. And I think he was just getting burned out on doing too much. I think he could tell that um, I was just beginning to be like, we, we, we can really, let's really start to work on stuff. And I think he was kind of at like, I'm sort of thinking I, I don't want to work on stuff. And so I think we sort of uh, met in the middle where we finished the space bubble shows and then he just kind of left, you know. Um, he never really said that he quit. He just never showed up again, um, but that's okay. I mean, he's got his space face uh, group and all that, and I, I could tell that um, he'd been with us for ten years, maybe longer, ten or eleven years, so a long time. And I, you know, it, 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 it's it's a tough job, and he didn't live here, so that that sort of I think wore him out mostly. Um, and yeah, I, I think his his bandmates were thinking, well, when are you going to spend time? Um, just doing your music with Space Space. So I think that was a, a good thing for him. Um, and Michael, when he left, it's it kind of the same dilemma. You know, at the end of the Space Bubble shows, um, uh, I think most of us felt very rejuvenated by the experience and how much we learned from it and how much more we could, you know, how much better we could be as a group or whatever. And Michael uh, was just, I think he was the same way. I think he was tired of um, working so hard and just doing so much stuff all the time. He, he had a new, still has a new girlfriend at the time. And I think he was wanting to um, sort of start a band with her. <laughs> yeah, but maybe in hopes that it wouldn't be as much work as being in the Flaming Lips. And, and so that seems like the way that's going. And so. You know, we didn't really give it too much thought. Some of the things that were going on with Michael and Jake were kind of long-term things that we, you know, you always sort of felt like, maybe we should fix this, what are we gonna do? And, you know, we didn't really skip a beat. We kind of were, it, and, 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 you know, we've done a lot of things over the years without Michael and without Jake, you know, that's um, it's not saying good or bad, it was just, you know, there's a lot of time that Michael didn't live here and Jake never lived here. And there'd be a lot of things that we would do. We just, you know, we're going to throw it together and do stuff, you know. Um, so I think they are much happier, not um, worrying that I'm going to call them up and say, hey, let's do this thing tomorrow. And we're um, so much, it, it works so much easier for us and so much more musical and everything.